Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is take apart one of these satellite receiving dishes. Most houses these days have them, which means you're going to find them a lot on the side of the road. The nice thing about one of these dishes is it's about 99.9% .9 scrappable material. Most of the metal is steel. However, inside the end of the box here, there is some gold. And what I'm going to do today is show you how to get at that gold and how to maximize your profit. So here we go. First thing, very simple. This arm is connected by a screw. I've already pulled it out. Okay, the end comes off. The rest of this is steel, so this is going to go into my steel pile. And I am left with just this end. There are two pieces remaining of coaxial cable. Um, there is copper inside of there. At the scrapyard, there is a separate category for coaxial cable. Um, I am going to do an upcoming video or experiment on seeing if it is worth my time stripping this to get the copper out of it or just to take it in as is. So when that comes up, please make sure you check that out. Um, the coaxial cable is connected, just screwed in. Okay, so this is, as I said, coaxial cable. It's not worth much, but it's better than going to the landfill. Okay, the cap comes off and the outer shell is plastic. So I'm going to put my safety glasses on. I just need to hit it with the hammer very quickly to separate it. Okay, so of that dish, this is all the plastic that's going into the landfill. This top is actually cast aluminum. Okay, there is a little bit of plastic inside there, but if I put a magnet to it, it is non-magnetic. I can probably just punch that little piece of plastic out with a screwdriver. On the back, there is a small shell here. Okay, and this is actually plastic, so there is a little bit more plastic, and it is sealed in with some caulking. So I just have to take a screwdriver and pry that up. Okay, so another piece of plastic. And this is what is inside. So this pops off, this is cast aluminum. Cast aluminum in Canada right now goes for about uh, 30 cents a pound. It's the same material that your, most your barbecues and frying pans uh, come in. Unfortunately, the prices have gone down a little because of the COVID-19, but uh, I store those up and I wait for the price to go up. But the money maker is this circuit board. So I'm just gonna take a screwdriver and pop it up. There are two pins right here. I have to pull that pin out first of all. I'm just gonna use a screwdriver to break it out. Okay, there it is. And I'm just gonna pull this circuit board. It's connected. It is still connected a little bit, but I'm gonna try and pull it out as best I can. I'll get a pair of pliers. Okay, so this circuit board, if I look at it, there's one side. You can see all the nice inlay of gold. The back, look how much gold there is in it. Now this is gold plated, but gold being the price that it is right now, it is worth your time to scrap it. Like I said, I don't refine it yet. Maybe one day I will start doing that. All I do is I store them up. Now some people, what they will do is, and you have to check with your scrap here, but there are separate categories for circuit boards. There is low grade, medium grade, high grade. Now, because this is gold, this you will get a little bit more money for this circuit board because of the precious metal. However, you don't get a lot for circuit boards. And this isn't really heavy, so you're not, and it's paid per weight, so it's not really heavy. So for me, it is actually worth more either looking online at eBay, there are some companies that will actually buy these circuit boards with the gold on them. Um, you're, that is definitely one option. Uh, as I said, maybe one day I will eventually do it, but right now I'm just gonna hold on to it. 
But again, very simple to do. Now this piece, I think there is a little bit of metal that is not cast aluminum right here. So this actually is gonna go into, I think I have a file for you. Scratch it. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this into my dirty cast because this is not cast aluminum on the side here. Uh, the bottom is. So this is actually gonna go into just uh, my dirty cast. Uh, and it's because also I have the pin here. Some scrap yards won't be too fussy. Um, I might just hold this off to the side and they can put it in there if they want. Like I said, this isn't very heavy at all, but uh, again, very simple to take apart. It took me five minutes to do. I have a nice heavy, this is about four or five pounds of, of steel. I have, this is cast aluminum. Okay, some dirty cast. A little bit of coaxial cable. And again, the money maker, the nice gold plated circuit board. Hope that was informative. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Tin Man out.